<laughs> All right. First up at 157 pounds, David Carr. Nice to see you again. Hey, David good to see you. Uh, second seeded Hayden Heidley. A 6-4 to four decision to become Iowa State's first finalist since 2015. David, congratulations. How are you feeling? I feel great. First off, I just want to open up this conference just by saying all glory to God. Um, he's been with me this whole tournament. He's gotten through me this whole tournament. And uh, all glory to him. Um, when you put your faith in him, you know, I've been reading this verse, walk by faith, not by sight, and it's all glory to him. All right, we got a couple of questions queued up for you. First up, Mike Finn of Win Magazine. Mike, the floor is yours. Congratulations, David. Obviously, when you went to Iowa State, you knew the legacy of your father and that stuff. Can you talk about it? Has it ever been any undue, undue pressure on you as you do this, or does it actually help you in a match like that? I just think uh, my dad's prepared me for moments like this. You know, I've been training for this since I was a little kid. And my dad being who he is, I knew that coming to Iowa State, I knew it wasn't more pressure. It was just that I would come here and have fun and, and try, to score more, try to score points and break his records. Congratulations. Cody Goodwin, Des Moines Register, floor is yours. Hey, David, big congrats on the win, man. Um, I wanted to ask you, in that match, the, the takedown at the end of the first period, how crucial was that to maybe your confidence as the match continued to go? I think it gave me a lot of confidence. You know, when I was wrestling him, the underhooks kind of overwhelmed me just a little bit, but I just knew, like, hey, I got to get to my offense. Once I got to my offense, you know, my coaches, you know, Metcalf, he's been my guy all year. Um, he's been telling me to stay the same, and I know me staying the same is going to get a takedown no matter how much time's left. And at the end, icing it. That's what Metcalf preaches. That's what Dresser preaches, icing the match. Um, Got to ride a little bit better. Can't give up a reversal there, but um, a win's a win. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I've just as one more follow-up, when the clock hits all zeros, I mean, you're, what, what's kind of running through your mind at that point at the end of the match? I was just so happy, so grateful. Like I said, all glory to God. I'm wrestling to glorify him and, and not really pointing at me, but pointing at God. You know, I couldn't do this without him. All right. Kyle Klingman, track wrestling. David, you were a junior world champion. Now you're at the NCAA championships. Compare and contrast those two tournaments and the de degree of difficulty. Uh, they're both very hard, I think. Worlds, I had one of the toughest, I one of the toughest draws going to world championships and I feel like this tournament was a pretty good draw, a uh, pretty tough draw, but um, each tournament takes focus and belief in yourself. All right, David, before we let you go, uh, obviously there was some more action happening out there while you were going. Uh, did you hear who your opponent's going to be? Uh, I heard my coaches just told me right before it's not going to be Deacon, which is, um, you know, that's someone I wanted to wrestle, but I'm excited to wrestle whoever. You know, this guy's pretty tough if we beat Deacon, so... It's going to be an exciting Jesse match. Jesse Delvecchia of Ryder, he pinned Ryan Deacon. Yep. I'm excited All for right. that matchup. We look forward to watching it, too. Congratulations on your win, getting Iowa State back in the finals after a little bit of a drought. Have a great night, and we look forward to watching you tomorrow. Thank you. God bless.